Good evening, everyone. We are back on Tuesday for our evening reading. I hope everybody had a great day. And tonight we're going to use these two decks. This is the Dragon Oracle deck by Diana Cooper and the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Van Reed. So <clears throat> let's get started and pick out three from our Dragon deck. We've got the green gold dragon from Sirius. And this dragon brings universal knowledge to your spiritual pathway. Learn about spiritual technology. Be a transmitter of sacred knowledge. <clears throat> and I think it's interesting. I don't know if many of you have been following... Um, so many people posting about the event and Nova Gaia or the New Earth and I think it's really beautiful that this is the first card that we draw tonight talking about spiritual knowledge and sacred tech our sacred knowledge and spiritual technology um, if you've been reading some of or listening to some of these posts talking about the New Earth um, it talks about how we'll all develop new spiritual tools and um, how we'll gain, everyone will gain access to this sacred knowledge. So I think that's interesting and a cue into the direction that we're going. So that's lovely. Okay, let's see what we've got next. Just enjoy this. Okinawan cafe music in the meantime. Let's see. I knew what it come out. And next we have the golden orange dragon. Um, the golden orange dragon expands your light for ascension. How perfect as we were just talking about this new earth here. Uh, it says, be a peaceful warrior. Help those in need. Remember your magnificence. So for everyone today, remember how great you are and how much of a warrior you can be. We can do that peacefully. And we can do that by helping those who are in need, who are less fortunate than us. Um, even just a friend who may need um, some extra love so I think that's beautiful and like I said that coincides a lot with what <clears throat> um, I've been listening to um, and watching on YouTube talking about this new earth and talking about our new spiritual tools and sacred knowledge and now talking about um, expanding our light for ascension because the new earth is in 5D energy, so uh, definitely some of us have been experiencing some ascension feelings. I know I've had a massive headache for the last couple days, so if you're feeling a little of that ascension flu, I'm right there with you. All right, and the last one from our dragon deck tonight is going to be, oh, look at how lovely this is. The Lilac Fire Dragon. Look at how beautiful that is. Lilac is actually my favorite flower. I love the way she smells. And the Lilac Fire Dragon transmutes through the power of divine love. How beautiful is that? We're talking about <clears throat> a new earth. We're talking about ascension and transmuting some of that 3D energy through divine love and being, what did it say, a peaceful warrior. So these all are aligning beautifully together. And the Lilac Fire Dragon is here to open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart 
brings peace, hope, and joy. So this is just a confirmation for everyone who's kind of been going through it, um, whether you believe in the event or not, and maybe you've just had a hard week, um, we can look at this without relating to the event and understanding that we all are on a spiritual path and that we need to understand the gifts that we're given and we can always ask the universe to help us to understand those tools so that we can do what we all what we came to do here and then when we go to our golden orange dragon we talk about expanding our light for ascension and i think it's really important that we shed some old things and allow the light in our heart to grow and we can do that without being a warrior in the typical sense but being peaceful about moving forward in the direction of life that we want to go and helping those in need because i think that's important to be a be here is to help one another and to by helping one another we kind of help ourselves too you know as we heal someone else and help someone else we heal and help ourselves too <clears throat> by having a deeper understanding of who we are as a person in our day-to-day -day life and remember your magnificence we're not here to play small we're here to be great and lastly that lilac fire dragon again transmuting through the power of divine love and remember divine love starts with love of self and having self-preservation so <clears throat> we need to be open to love and enlightenment coming into our lives coming from our higher selves and having purity of heart having peace of mind will bring us hope and joy so this is beautiful beautiful information for today so we want to thank the dragons for giving us these pieces of knowledge and showing us this love <clears throat> lastly we're going to move on to our wisdom deck and let's see what wants to come out who wants to come out being drawn here first let's see what is this oh <clears throat> We've got the altar priestess, preparation, prayer, sacred rituals. <clears throat> Let's look at the detailing in this card. This is beautiful. Look at that star in the center. And it almost correlates back with the Sirius star system here that we have in our gold, our gold green dragon from Sirius. <clears throat> when we talk about that preparation for for um, ascension and going into prayer and creating a sacred space around us and around our heart <clears throat> so these things are all coinciding with each other so you know I think all of us are on a path to understanding ourselves better to kind of shedding some old skin you know we're already in at the end of the first quarter of the year and it's been a bumpy ride already <laughs> so <clears throat> everyone just needs to remember to go to the altar of their heart go into prayer go into meditation and prepare yourself for the path that you have ahead of you for the next quarter let's see what comes to us next chess queen trust in strategizing look at how beautiful she is and see the strength she's standing there powerfully moving across playing some of that 5d chess right it's beautiful so as we look back at the altar priestess and we're talking about preparation and sacred rituals and we're going back over here to our <clears throat> golden green dragon and talking about our spiritual our spiritual path now that we 
are prepared, now we're going to trust and strategize and move across the board of life. Does everybody see that? Trust yourself. Get your game plan together. And move forward boldly. Look at how bold and serene and sure she is. Right? All right, let's see. What's the last one out of here? Oh, okay, we'll pick you. <laughs> Look, I tried to turn that one over and it caught me off guard. It was already the other way. <laughs> We've got, oh, look at that. A dragon card pulling it all together from a separate deck. That is just beautiful. And we've got the dragon's duel, inner conflict, morality, and conscious choice. So <clears throat> as we move along this path, as we move into the second quarter, we really do have to be mindful about what the golden orange dragon was saying about expanding our light for ascension. We've got to make some hard inner choices. See, we've got the dueling dragons here. So we've got the light and the darkness and this sort of balance in all aspects of life. And we have to make choices and that's why we strategize and we trust ourselves, right? And then we, we move, make our moves across the chest, the chessboard. So trust yourselves. That's what I'm getting today. Trust yourself moving forward into the second quarter, moving into this new earth, this Nova Gaia, the 5D. A lot of it is going to be conscious choices. We can't just walk blindly in life anymore. We have to be, we have to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Accountable. We have to be accountable for our choices and trust ourselves. And everything's going to work out moving forward into the next quarter. So I'm looking forward to April and everything that it has to bring. And I hope you all are too. But for now, let's just love ourselves in the moment. Let's love ourselves today. And let's look forward to tomorrow. I'll just pull just one more, just in case I'm missing anything. What do we have? The Sun Dancer. Joyful activity, celebration of life, and abundance. See what I was saying about looking forward to something beautiful? Look at this. Look at that dancing, singing. Listen to this beautiful music playing. We need to find the joy when the sun rises tomorrow with the new opportunities. We can do that within ourselves. We can be conscious, we can be present. We can shed old things like the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. We can all rise. It's a beautiful message to end with tonight. All right, my loves, I hope you all have a great, warm, snuggly night. And we will be back here again tomorrow. Sweet dreams.